Dear students, all human works are done by keeping focus on one point. That one point could be anywhere. After zeroing in, we plan a strategy to give wings to that point. The point then looks like a root growing its shoot, then branches, then sub branches, a tree, and that is how our mind works similarly on developing an idea and translating it to a plan and project. Our body development since fetus stage or pre baby stage starts its growth cephalocaudal and proximodistal, I mean from head to toe and from center to outwards. Making a mind map is similar but creative technique based on the latest understanding of how your brain works. A mind map allows you to develop a topic and present it visually. It is a new writing skill in Yuvak Bharati Standard 12 New English Book as chapter 3.2 starting at page number 141. Mind maps are tree diagrams of the information linked by you in your existing and new knowledge. Mind maps can be used wherever written reflections are to be documented such as when taking notes, structuring texts, looking for ideas, planning projects, making presentations and preparing for exams. I quote a few mind maps of your taste. The first map is the mind map itself. It introduces you with the strategies you map using tools, processes, utility, etc. And further, categorize them into branches and many sub-branches. Next, I show you seven survival skills. The images come to your mind will be your curiosity and imagination, critical thinking and problem solving, collaboration across networks, agility, adaptability, initiative and entrepreneurialism, communication and analyzing. Let us take another one which is always crucial in our life to develop life skills, we call it SWOT, S-W-O-T. I mean, our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. If we map them categorically and honestly, we can balance and handle any situation. Shivaji Maharaj always used this strategy, I believe. A mind mapping of education is the next one. What is required in our education? I mean, what, when, where, how? and the entire epistemology with branches, sub-branches and then the entire tree. On how we think is the next one. Ideation, inspiration, design, creativity, reflection and of course the last one, presentation. In the form of say an essay or a letter or sign language and using any of the media like Google, face-to-face, -face, print, electronic etc. And a design like video, PowerPoint presentation or an SMS, I mean to choose the best way to communicate your thinking requires a planning and execution from the beginning to the end. Chalo, planning an essay. Your wild thought must speed up to take the shape of an idea, which will soon be translated to words and phrases, then to sentences, then to rich texts and hence a discourse of lifetime. But it requires writing practice and a lot of learning. Just mind mapping won't work. Gadi mein patrol hona chahiye, right? Barabar? Or the 21st century skills of communication, collaboration, creativity and critical thinking, the ultra-modern four C's we discussed in To Serve With Love. Or say the next one, personal assessment of setting goals. Or different systems of a body. Or a revision plan. Or the last but not the least, a student's note on mapping a beautiful US state, California, with its beautiful people, infrastructure, facilities, environment, etc. So your assignment of this writing skill is mapping the beauty of Anishakti Nagar, right? Now we have many mind mapping softwares like mylanode.com, edrawsoft.com, freemind, dossier, coggle, xmind, wise mapping, mind42, etc. I have one application installed in my laptop. It is mindview7. Let me share the video which will give you a clear picture of the mind mapping. Welcome to the mindview7 quick start video. In this video, you will learn how to create a mind map, how to make text notes, how to attach files, how to customize the mind map, and how to export the mind map to Microsoft Word. For this example, we're going to create a new mind map. Under the new section, I left click the mind map view. We're taken into the MindView 7 interface. The white space is known as the artboard. The top navigation bar is separated into specific tabs that contain the relevant features for each tab. I can easily create branches and sub-branches using the icons contained in the ribbon. 
I also have the ability to right click on branches and choose to insert branch levels or I can use the enter and insert keys on my keyboard. I can easily left click and drag to rearrange branches and sub-branches to create my desired mind map structure. Let's start by creating a new mind map. For this example, we're going to build a meeting agenda. To edit the text displayed on a branch, I can simply left click the branch and type my new text. I left click off of the branch to deselect that item. To create my first branch level, I select the branch and hit the enter key on my keyboard. I've created my first branch opening remarks. To create my second main branch, I hit the enter key and type the text updates. I'll continue making my first set of sub branches by using the insert key and typing the branch text welcome. To expedite this tutorial, I've created several main branches and sub branches, which in turn are the topics of my agenda. It's important to mention that MindView creates branches in a specific order. That order is referred to as the branch hierarchy. It starts at the one o'clock point on the mind map and goes clockwise around the route. This branch hierarchy, or this branch order, is directly related to the way that MindView will export this mind map out as sections of a Word document, slides of a PowerPoint slideshow, rows in an Excel spreadsheet, tasks in an Outlook task list, or line items in a Microsoft Project Gantt chart. To better visualize this branch hierarchy, under the Home tab, I can choose to show a numbering scheme. As you can see, this numbering scheme is going clockwise around the route. As branches are rearranged, that numbering scheme is also reordered. One of the many advantages of using MindView is that each individual branch can contain several branch attachments. These branch attachments can take the form of text notes, branch pictures, file or document attachments, hyperlinks, videos, even sound files. Let's continue by attaching additional information to the agenda. In this case, we will left click minutes from last meeting and I will attach a PDF version of the prior meeting's minutes. I simply browse on my computer, locate the file that I'd like to attach by left clicking and choose open. That attachment is now made. I can simply hover the paperclip icon to launch that branch attachment. You can switch the mind map view to several different style views. Under the view tab, I can choose to convert this mind map view into a top down view, into a left right view, into a linear outline view or once I start to create and add task information or time information I can create a timeline or Gantt chart. By definition mind mapping is a very visual concept. The visual concept allows you to associate different branch colors and imagery to help bring your mind map to life. It also helps with communication when you're discussing the various topics with an audience or a team. MindView allows you to customize your mind map in two ways. The Design tab, which affects the map in its entirety, allows you to switch between layouts and also allows you to easily switch between the predefined mind map styles. Each individual style may relate itself better to a specific project that you happen to be working on. To take this a step further, I can also start to add visuals to my MindView document. The visuals can take the form of pictures or icons. Now that we've completed customizing our mind map, I'd like to demonstrate the export capability to Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is one of the more popular exports from MindView and it allows you to create an agenda, a brainstorming session, or any written document in MindView and directly export that to Microsoft Word. I simply go to the File tab, I choose Export, I choose Microsoft Word, and I choose either a quick or custom Word export. 
For this example, I'll choose the quick word export. As you can see, with a few simple clicks, I've exported my MindView project directly to Microsoft Word. The title has been carried through. I have a snapshot of the mind map. Hence, dear students, summing up, why this writing skill, mind mapping? The main idea, subject of focus, is crystallized in a central image. The main things radiate from the central image as branches. The branches comprise a key image or key word drawn or printed on its associated line. Topics of lesser importance are represented as twigs of the relevant branch. The branches form a connected nodal structure. The data of mind maps are ideas. The map organizes ideas and provides a means of showing their places within a hierarchical display. Why do we use mind mapping? It enables understanding and clarity. When we mind map, we begin with a central topic or idea. By mapping a concept, we gain clarity of how much we are structured and whether our objectives fit together. It promotes expansive nonlinear thinking. To do things the same way over and over or approaching a new project in the same way as in the past becomes boring. Right? Mind mapping unlocks creativity and compels us to think nonlinear way. It means some eccentricity is required in our thinking process. Kuch hatke. It enhances communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. As I said, the four C's, the ultra modern four C's, the skills of 21st century world citizens. Mind mapping allows you to align the way you map and your peers map. I conclude here now to continue with the chapter 3.2 in your part, the English book of standard 12, starting at page number 141. Thank you. Have a nice day.